Hello friends, welcome to a very merry Christmas episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. It's hot, I am gonna like, this thing's so warm, I am gonna sweat to death by the end of this episode, so I hope you guys enjoy. Can't really see this thing super well, that's fine. We're going for it. So let's hop into the calendar to see what we have left to do for this season. So our first race, it's gonna be Welch Valley Racing Complex. So we're gonna start off with a road course. Love that. Then we've got New Hampshire International Raceway. And I believe we finish off the season with Martinsville. Yep, Martinsville Speedway. So we've got three races. Three good chances to improve our points position, and uh, let's get into it. All right, Welch Valley Racing Complex. And we are only one top five away from our season goal, so I think we have a very good chance of doing that. Um, if I don't mess up here, we might be able to do it here. Let's see. Oh, I just realized my uh, force feedback <laughs> isn't working. Let me fix that. Pause. Okay, we're back. It's fixed. I have feedback in the wheel. I'm pretty sure the last time I did a practice session here, I think somebody did that too, where they like smack the wall right off the rip. And that is our championship leader. There's certain guys I think that do better at road courses that maybe don't do so well at ovals and vice versa. So big thing here too is being smooth on the brakes, especially after pulling that pedal stopper out. It is really easy just like that to overdo the braking and then you lose a ton of momentum. But if you don't break hard enough, then you end up in the grass or worse. So it's a very fine line. All right, let's see what kind of lap time we threw down. Okay, faster than our best lap previously. So that's always a nice uh, confidence booster. I think I know the track well enough that I'm probably just gonna hop into qualifying and hope for the best. Cause yeah, I think the car setup's pretty good. So let's go ahead and qualify this thing. One fourteen. That is nuts. I don't know how in the world you run a 114 here. I am like sweating already <laughs> and I'm five minutes into recording. This is going to be a problem by the end of this episode. Oh man. Alright, turn one was pretty good. You don't break for turn two. And then a little bit of breaks here, nothing crazy. Let it downshift. Got a long run into the next corner. Don't overdo it there either. And then this is that double left. Seems to be a pretty solid lap so far. Hopefully I can get through this corner well. 
Oh, overslowed the car. It's gonna hurt the momentum a little bit. See how we did. All right, we knocked like a second plus off of our time, so that's pretty sweet. Let's see where that lands us. Second place, and I'm pretty sure on this track, I think for any of the tracks where you have a right hand turn first, like Watkins Glen, they normally put the first place qualifier, you know, on the inside for the first corner. But in this game, I think they just start on the left side no matter what. So we might actually have a better run into turn one here. So let's go ahead and race and see what we can do. Really good starting spot. I think we have a good chance of getting that top five. And there's our championship leader, William Anderson in fifth. Let's see. So yeah, we're gonna start essentially first. So that's a big plus. And with only three laps, there's not that many chances for us to throw it away. So let's see what we can do. He's already filling up our mirror. So there's a good chance that uh, we are not going to hold on to this lead for super long, but we'll see. Oh, looks like we've pulled some lead on him, so I guess we got through those corners pretty well. Alright, we have pulled a good lead go. on the first lap. So let's do nothing silly. And let's keep building that lead. Looks like the gap stand pretty steady at like two, two and a half seconds, so. Don't mess that area up just a smidge. I think that's where we pulled a lot of time last lap, so. We'll see. Uh, yeah, he's chopped a couple tenths off the lead. Looks like everybody else is falling back pretty far, so. This is such a short race, like it, it definitely feels too short when you're running well. Obviously when you're running 17th, you just want this thing to end as soon as possible, but since we're not awful, I don't, I don't hate it. Definitely a lot better with a wheel than a controller, that is for sure. So here's where we had that mess up last time. So I'm going to slow down a little extra. <laughs> Make sure we don't go off or hit anything. Alright, still staying a pretty steady gap of about two seconds. Going into the final turn. 
Well, that was surprisingly easy. Great job. Cool, just ran a 115 and 115.9. Sub 116. Stoked on that. Yeah, only three under four minutes. It's so, so short. All right, so there are the points. We had a great day. Score it all. 190 we could. Not a bad start to this Christmas episode. And we didn't hit anything, so we have zero weekend expenses. That is awesome. $30,000 in the bank. And we hit our goal with our four top fives on the season so thankfully we don't have to worry too much about the last couple races but I don't know that that was a brutal race maybe everybody wrecked behind us I didn't see but we won so that bumps us to fifth in the season standings so absolutely love to see that So yeah, we're still 72 points out of the lead, but we're only 21 points behind third. So I definitely think third place is doable. I don't know if we're going to get above that, but also crazy that our championship leader doesn't have a win yet, but more top fives than anyone. That'll put you up there in first. All right, that puts us at almost $100,000. So that'll be a big help when we move up to the trucks, but more than likely we have at least another season here. So let's hop into our next race. Back to New Hampshire International Speedway. So yeah, hitting the sponsor goal. Love to see that. We're not having to go into the last race begging for a top five. This little ball, I keep like leaning on it and it's getting caught between me and the chair and it's annoying the heck out of me. So I think I'm rolling with too much speed in the middle of the corner and then the car can't carry it so I keep having to let off. I'm trying to like give it a little bit earlier break but I don't know I think my driving style just isn't right for this track all right that was a pretty solid lap still have half a second to knock off to our best lap but usually that happens later so I think we're pretty solid. I think I have the the track rhythm down pretty well. Almost caught the wall there, so this would probably not be a good lap. Yeah, I'm gonna qualify. It's fine. So Anderson ran a 34. So our championship leader did not have a good lap here. So we might be able to make up some points just yet. And those tires have been squealing. They are not happy with what I am doing to them. I think that was a pretty solid lap. Let's see what kind of lap time we put down. Alright, let's see where we 30.4. I think that was better 
than uh, what we ran in practice, so happy to see that. Please start on the bottom. Okay, awesome. We got jumped, so we're fifth. So the guy's second in points qualified back in 11th, and first in the points qualified 18th. So we might actually have a pretty good chance of making up some points here. Let's go make up those points. Hello, I'm Alan Bestwick and welcome to Loudoun, New Hampshire. At a distance of just over a mile, this squared off oval has seen some fantastic finishes in its history. Over 100,000 people attend each race, coming from nearby Boston, Providence, and all the Over 100,000 attend each race. Are you sure about that? Sure about that? All right, let's not hit anyone early. Let's not hit the wall early. If we can do that, I think we'll be okay. I've been like feathering the gas into the first turn to try not to run over the lowest car. Oh, come on. Did not get a good run. I was trying to block him a little bit, but I don't think we got the block. I think I'm just turning the wheel too hard in the center of the corner. Come on, there we go. Because it's like really. Buddy. Buddy. You are on the naughty list, bro. That's ridiculous. What kind of damage did he do? Cool. Love that. If we break. We blow a tire or something. He's getting coal in his stocking. For sure. I keep just coming in with way too much speed into the corner. And then can't carry it out. So they just run away from me, exiting the corner. So aggravating. So aggravating. Come back. Just want to pass you. and they get such a better drive off the corner. It's ridiculous. Like, buddy, come back. Come back. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. All right, we're a second behind the guy that ran into me that's on the naughty list. I don't think we're going to get him. Yeah, he just, by the second half of the corner, just drives away. Last lap. Nothing I can do there. Like, we just ran our best lap. And... He just drives away. Man, if these races were like just a little longer, I think I could have got him. Oh. oh, I got a block. Got a block. Okay, we're good. All right, sixth place. We didn't need the top five, so. Could have been better. It's okay. Yeah, Anderson finished 19th. He could not go anywhere. 
and him and Seth finished 10. He was second in the points, so let's see how this shakes it up going into Martinsville. All right, so we gained 16 points on Hemiseth and 44 on Anderson. So very interested to see how the points look after this one. All right, with $2 a week in expenses, we took home $56.99. What a race. He says I finished middle of the pack. I finished sixth. There's 14 guys behind me. All right, so it looks like, wow, Anderson dropped to third. So Hemiseth took the lead. Lee took second. Anderson's only 28 points ahead now. So based on these points, I would have to go out, lead the most laps, win the race. And all these guys finish like eighth or worse. The crazier things have happened. Let's see. So that will bring us to the season finale at Martinsville Speedway. Let's try that again. I'm about to crash again in the pit lane, my goodness. So 21-1 is our best lap ever. Let's see what we can do here. Not a very good three and four, so I don't think this is gonna be a particularly fast lap. We just ran four tenths better than our best time. Sorry, bud. I got places to be. Hey, right, guys, too wide. You're too slow. I can stay off the curb. Might be a little faster. That wasn't pretty. That's okay. That was your best lap ever. Okay. 20.39. Come on, give me that draft. All right, that wasn't wasn't great. Do what we do. That was your best lap hey, ever. all right. I think it is time to qualify. All right, just got a lot faster. Awesome.
So of course Anderson is second fastest so far. MSF is fifth fastest so far. Let's see what we can do, baby. Decent one, exit of two wasn't too hot. Three looked okay. Oh, I had to pedal that so All much. Right. Still got a 20.0. See, where's that put us? Oh boy. We have the pole. So we got Anderson right behind us. And then we got MSF another row back. So they would both have to crash and have cra cat. They would both have to have catastrophic failures. And me win this race for me to win the championship. So let's see. Maybe we can get a Christmas miracle. Hello and welcome to a piece of racing history, the Martinsville Speedway in South Central Virginia. Martinsville was open before NASCAR was even founded. It's one of the sport's original tracks. This paper clip shaped half mile has grown from a dusty pioneer to a beautiful racing facility with personality and unique challenges every time. All right, let's do it. Wow, what a start. It is ridiculous. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for giving me my lane. I appreciate that. So it looks like Anderson's fallen to fifth, but I, I still don't think that uh, him finishing fifth is going to give me enough points. Now he's fourth. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think uh, we're close enough in the points to win just by beating him by a couple spots. At this point, all I can do is lead all the laps and win the race and hope for the best. So not really up to me at this point, like the, you know, second season in dirt when I had the chance to win. If I would have just went out and did well, I would have won the championship, but I lost because of a bad finish on my part. So at least this way, I did everything I could if I can hold on, definitely not gonna say that, you know, we've won already, but if I can hold on to the lead, I did my part. Just gotta hope that uh, all the chips fall in the right way. nice and clean didn't hit anything didn't hit anyone alright bud you are all over the road bud no naughty list for you I thought that dude was going into pit. What in the world? Oh, come on. I went to Cracker Barrel today. You can't be in my way. I patronized your store. It looks like I'm losing some time because I'm not getting through these lap cars as well as I think I am. 
Let's just try the high line. How's that? Yeah, beautiful. You're the guy that hit me last race. Good day. Still on the naughty list. Let's not crash. All right. Love to see that. That only frightened me a little bit. Keep it out of the wall. All right, we've got almost a three and a half second lead. So I think we're doing all right. Anderson is still sitting fourth. I don't think there's enough time for him to get past the ball back to fifth. That guy's got over a second in between them. All right, white flag. Just ran our best lap. My goodness. Yeah, we definitely set these cars up to get better in the long run, which is probably a good way to do it. Oh, Anderson took third. MSF sixth. I don't think we're going to have the points to uh, finish ahead of those guys, but I'll press the button and we'll see how it ends. So we made 30,000. Love to see that. Yep, MSF was the champion, and I made inflammatory comments about his driving ability. That sounds like me. We finished third. I guess we finished behind Anderson as well. Okay, I did the math wrong. So, eight points behind him is that three points behind Anderson. So, if we just didn't have like one of those DNFs at the beginning of the year, we would have won the title. So, that really great start definitely killed us for this season. But, oh well, just means we get to run it back again. All right, so we've got $128,000. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the end of year stuff in this episode, just so that next episode we can just hop right into the season and uh, start winning races and building that championship lead. So yeah, there's the points. Three wins, most of anyone on the season. We got five top fives, so we bettered our goal by one. We had tied for the third most top fives. We had nine top tens out of the 11 races. So, you know, either one of those finishes of like 17th, 18th, whatever it was, if we had just finished a couple spots better. We would have won the championship this year so aggravating all right Grinch performance if that is not ironic considering I'm wearing a Santa suit <laughs> they're offering 60,000 if we can average finish position of third or better that is that is a challenge for sure
This one, if we can finish top three in the points, 42,000 from Jack Link's Beef Jerky. All right. I like that offer. Barbecue Supply. 25 if we finish seventh. If we finish seventh and get worse, I will, I'll be sad. Milk and Audio. 24,000 if we can get a poll. We did get a couple polls this season, surprisingly. Or maybe it was just one. Whatever. I don't think that's worth. Big Owls, that's a junk offer. So I think we are gonna go with the Jack Link's Beef Jerky. All right, so with us gone from the weekly racing series presented by Dodge, Kato, with five wins out of the 10 races, showed everybody who's boss. Yeah, he and Ted both had a top five every single race. Your top six all had a top 10 every single race. Good for them. Good for them. So that brings us right to the beginning of next season, Denison Speedrome. So that's where we're going to pick up next episode. So we've got $158,000. We just finished our, is that our fifth? season in this game already this is our second season of modifieds we got top three in points which would have been nice to win the championship we were just eight points away but you know it happens we had a really bad start to the season so this next season coming up i think we can knock it out of the park kick some butt win the championship pretty handily and then move up to trucks so i just want to say thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i hope you enjoyed this special christmas episode i am gonna go i'm gonna go take this off and try to stop sweating because it is hot in here also i bought this suit when i weighed a lot less so this isn't the comfiest but thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one See ya.